What's going on YouTube? It's Xfinity13 here, back at it again with another YouTube video, and here we're playing Madden 17, Connect the Franchise on the Xbox One. And here we got a very interesting divisional game here. We got the 9-1 Chiefs Hello, versus the 4-6 and six Broncos, Ridley, and, this and is I'll let this guy talk real on quick. EA Sports. Today we've got an exciting matchup on tap. It's the Broncos coming in at 4-6, and six, going up against the Chiefs who come in at 9-1. With that, let's hand it over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. They've All right, here we go. Here's the kickoff, and we we're off. at the foot of the Rockies as EA Sports coverage of the <coughs> All NFL All right, so we are 9-1 and one here. Yes, we are second in our division, so like how it, would, how it was in real life. It seems like it's going to come down to the uh, last few games or so. And the Denver Broncos. Um, the, uh, the Oakland Raiders are 9-1 and one also, and that's toke nasty. Uh, he has a tiebreaker against me because he's my one loss. So right now we are in the wild card. If the playoffs were to start today, we'd be in the wild card. Ooh, good hit. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> Hopefully this game will be a little more entertaining than the uh, our last game. The <laughs> last game was not entertaining at all. But um, I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna cut anything out in these videos. I don't think. I think it's more entertaining if it's uh. Just the full, uncut, unedited video. Um, and if I do post game, like ultimate team gameplay, those will be edited and all that. But for this, I don't think it's gonna be edited. But uh, here we go, first and ten. I think he's gonna run to the right here. Maybe it. Okay, he can adjust, but it's not to the left. Yeah. yeah, big hit. Let's go, Wilson. Man, Wilson is a freaking stud, bro. I'm loving him. He is so good for me. I have like 9 or 10 user pace with him. And I was leading the league for a bit, but I slowed down on the interceptions. Because no one's really testing him. Not a bad tackle. It's third down. That That's a good play by him. Third or four here. We need to make him behind. Because uh, this is a sim based league, so if I get a stop here, he has to punt the ball. An extra which would be huge. Back in the game now here for and four. Oh, good deal. Oh, Marcus Peters, you could have picked that though, bro. That could have been a pick six, Marcus. Come on. Now, you are allowed one fake punt per game. So, I gotta be careful on that. That's why I'm doing this uh, safe punt. So, you are allowed one punt fake per game. I love fair catch it. I'd rather not risk it with the Gotta establish the run game. I'd like to get that goal that uh, you saw in the top right corner there. Jamal Charles, 10th rushing touchdown of the season. I'd like to get that because in CFM, the goals are huge because... You just get XP. And that's all you want. You know, you want to develop people. I want to develop people. On the ground, it's the first carry here for Jamal Charles. Okay, five yards, it's not bad. Four down. yards. This is the okay. offense we're going to see Three. coming up in this one, and Travis uh, Kelsey will be key. What a tremendous weapon he is, especially in the oh, red yes. zone. Knows how to find the end zone when running his routes. On second down, here's Taylor. Taylor hit. Oh! Oh, that was lucky, boys. Wow. We threw it as we got hit. And... Oh. That could have been huge. Wow. This player played that block so well. That was crazy. There we go, Hill. Let's go, Tyreek Hill. The more touches he gets, the more XP he's going to get. And the more XP he's going to get, the more of a beast he's going to be. He's an 80 overall right now with 96 speed. And in CFM, 96 speed is huge. 96 speed, no one in Ultimate Team has 96 speed. I think the highest speed in Ultimate Team is 94 or 95. And that's like Deion Sanders. No one has 96 speed in CFM, yet alone Mutt. So, so corners, they're not going to be able to keep up with them. And a key to leave is not the fastest corner, so I'm going to look for that deep ball. There we go, Jeremy Macklin. Come on. Come on. Come on, get there. Come on, get there. Let's go, Jeremy Macklin taking it to the house. That's a 66-yard touchdown. 
Let's go, baby. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Chiefs are Our receiving core is pretty nice, though. Our receiving core, we have T.Y. Hilton at the number one. I traded for T.Y. Hilton. I traded away my second round pick. And I think a third? Or I think it was a second and a fourth. Because I have two or three third round picks this year in the upcoming draft. But I traded away my pick for him. He's a 90 overall receiver. And then I have Tyreek Hill at the two. And I, the reason why I have Tyreek Hill at the two instead of Jeremy Macklin is Tyreek Hill is, um, with his 96 speed, I can't have 96 speed in the slot because in CFN, the 96 speed is so deadly on the streak. Like, if I have to, nine out of ten times, I'm confident I can just chuck it up to Tyreek Hill. So, I have him on the outside. Then I have Jeremy Macklin. He's an 87 overall. I have him on the inside at number three. And then I have Travis Kelsey, and then Owen Daniels is my second tight end for my two tight end sets. Our offense is pretty set. I'm, I want to try and get a backup running back in the draft. I have a running back in mind, so I think I'm going to pick up a running back. I don't know where exactly because he's not projected very high, and I don't have a second or a third or a first or a second round pick. So I'm not really I'm scouting everyone. Don't get me wrong, but I'm really scouting the. Uh, later guys but I'm scouting everyone just in case you know someone falls or something you never know who's gonna fall or what's gonna happen I'm gonna watch the tight end here I have a feeling he's gonna throw it to the flat because he knows he's gonna blitz he did throw it to the flat there the wrong side we'll run this because I want Poe on the field that's the thing with my defense Don Terry Poe isn't on the field like, when I run nickel, he's not on the field, and I can't sub him in. I don't know why. I wish I could sub him in. Let's go. Good sack, baby. Justin Houston. Get that XP. But, um, yeah. So, I can't put Don Terry Poe on the field when I'm playing, you know, a 4-4. Four four. Actually, he might be on the field for 4-4. I'm not sure about that. I don't really run the 4-4 four four blitz. The 4-4 four four defense. I don't like it that much. Oh, we got a great bounce. That was lucky. We got, like, a 4-5 or five yard bounce. But, um, I'm thinking... What was I talking about? Yeah. So, I can't sub in Poe in nickel. Good, and, and so that nickel's where I that's where I run my defense like I run it out of nickel like that's my main thing so I'm running a lot more 3-4 because I do have two pretty good linebackers and Derek Johnson and Nick Wilson I think that's his first name so because of that I'm running a little more 3-4 I think 3-4 is a pretty good run defense I like 3-4 run defense better than most uh, other formations so but um yeah Actually, I'm not a one yard gain could look like a disaster, but all depends on how the game is going. If, I, is it a series if it's third and nine, ball, I'll go deep case, in. If it's third and third and bigger than five, one yard run. Hey, congratulations yeah. to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. Me, I'd really like a touchdown here. Now it's third down. Incomplete pass on second down. Let's see what the offense really draws like up here on third. Really like Charles the low setback. <laughs> Play action. Now Taylor. Going underneath for Charles. And wow. he's able to get it to the We got the first, I believe. Good enough for a first he just couldn't get an impression there. He only rushed three, and my O-line did pretty well there. So... Alright, that's a not bad first quarter. We had a big play. I don't really have big plays other than to Tyreek Hill. So that uh that play to Macklin was pretty big for me. I don't I'm not a guy that gets a lot of yards. I'm a score fourteen, score you know a score a little and then trust my defense with the rest. What's the penalty? Come on. Roughing the passer? Oh, the pass was already off. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was like a 25-yard pass. That's such a bad freaking... Um, you, on my channel, you'll see me upload another CFM, too. I joined a CFM on the PS4 just now with... Uh, 
a streamer and YouTuber named Raw Dog. If uh, you you don't know him, he was just on Toke's channel for the Pack Wars. I'm sure y'all know too. But he was just on Toke's channel for Pack Wars. So uh, I'm gonna see if I'm with him. I just joined that, and I'm gonna do the same thing I do with this, where I'm gonna upload the full video, and, and we're gonna start that in week one. I didn't start this series in week one, and I wish I did. But uh, we're gonna start that series in week one. There we go, Hill. But um, we're gonna start that series in week one. Right now, we're in week one of the preseason, so we're gonna get to that. And then I am the Miami Dolphins in that. I got to pick my team, and the only, there was only like six teams left, and I think Miami was the best team to go with. You know, Miami has great receivers. They have a quarterback you can play with, uh, and Ryan Tannehill. If I don't like Tannehill, I can always draft a quarterback, but I think I'm gonna like Tannehill. He can run, he can pass, he can do a lot. He can even receive if I really wanted him to. But, um, and then after that, you have your running backs. They're really good on that team. That's a dumb bad. That could have been intercepted. But, um, you have your running backs on that team. And then after your running backs, you have, uh, your D-line. Your D-line's a little old. You got Mario Williams. You got Cameron Wake. You got, like, that Amitsu to really build upon. I really like that. I like that a lot. And then you have Kiko Alonso at the middle linebacker. You know, you have Byron Maxwell. I don't know how, how much I'm going to like him. I don't think I was in field goal range, but yeah, I guess it's better than a punt. Like, not bad, because it was third down there. I was going to probably have to punt it. That's kind of why I just chucked it up. Good play. Good play. Good play. Good play. Good play. Is AJ McCarron going to dot me up? Damn, I really want him to score there. And you do get ball at half, which is nice. But Houston going to fly. Damn! Damn, Anderson. Anderson, man. Crazy run right there. Nice run. Nice stiff arm. With the guy taking the snap and turn around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge? Whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they Oh, we got to make that tackle, bro. Houston. Houston just attacked the game. That's crazy. It's not a very successful play. That's one thing I think I struggle with on a lot. If you ever play me, they ran it and picked it up. Come on, let's go! Now Anderson. Let's get the, just press A. Not hit stick. Not hit. Marcus Peters is a stud. A lot of people wanted him in the Connect the Franchise. A lot of people wanted me to like, trade him. A lot of people were trying to trade for him, and I just wasn't having it. He's an 89 overall as a rookie. Let's go, Houston! Let's go! Come on, get there. Houston! Oh! Oh, let's go. Ah, I wanted that pick six for the XP for Houston. That was big, baby. See if we can hit that block. Come on. Let's go, Jamal. That gets Jamal XP, though. I'll take the XP with Jamal, too. Houston's already 97. He doesn't need the XP. <laughs> I know we don't Ooh, talk did he miss it? Did he miss it? Did he miss it? Nope. Oh, guys up front blocking, the offensive lineman, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. All right, we're up 14-0. We're in a good spot right now. We get ball. And this is a big game because this is the defending Super Bowl champions. This is against that great defense. This is a divisional game. Divisional games are so important. You know, especially because... If everything stays the way they are now, you know, I'm going to be in the wild card. 
I gotta win my divisional games, you know. I can't let the Broncos creep up and get that record, you know. Where you know they win two games against me and they get into the playoffs and I don't. Like, what if I start losing games? They get in the playoffs, you know. We go to the same record. They get in because they beat me. Same with the Chargers. I'm running no against the Chargers already, so that's good. I played the Chargers in the last game of the season. I played them in the first game and the last. I thought that was pretty cool. They run the counter now. It's Anderson. And it's defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're not going to dictate the defense. You know, divisional games, you have to win. They're probably the most important game. And they are the most important game. For the draws you know, and, plays of that nature. and I Make think sure the games work. against the and NFC, I'm in mean the AFC, shooters. the game against the NFC are really important to me too because I don't see those guys that often. Let's go, Tambahali. Just that's that's a stock play. They didn't blitz or anything. And it'll be a loss of about eight. Now we talk about players blitzing all the time. Okay, we'll just run laugh and sometimes call it just straight ahead but, um, what a running start. You know, those right NFC games, like, I just played a couple, two, three weeks ago, I played the the Carolina Panthers, and the Carolina Panthers are the best run team, the, they're the best run team in the league right now. You know, they're the best run team. Freaking Jonathan Stewart is leading the league in rushing yards. He is leading the league in the MVP race right now. Like, that's crazy. Jonathan Stewart. I should have called the fake out. Oh, that's fake. Wow. 49 yard punt, five on the return. And the offense will come back onto the first play. We're going to chase it. It's not cheese. Here comes Kansas City. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate. I wish that safety had come down. Oh, he's not in the middle. It'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before. Oh, no, get down. Ah. My goodness. He was so off of, he was playing so over top, not over top really, but he wasn't pressing at all, you know, he was sagging off, and that, Tyree killed him. Uh, that's two picks by Tyra this game. I think he has three all year. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big uh -oh. time. Uh -oh. Oof. Yeah. I should have been more smart about it. Okay. So second and ten here. On every offensive coordinator, every play caller sheet, they have about five or six plays per game that they call shot plays or big plays. Good play. And you don't get many good play, good play. That's either a pick and choose with me. I either use the one guy right across the middle or I use the other guy where he just passes it to. Either way, someone's going to be open. That's a good play. All right. Oh, good play again. He's out of bounds, though. Wow. He traded for Eric Decker. Nice. He traded back for Eric Decker. I saw that the jo or the Jets didn't have Eric Decker anymore, but I guess he decided to trade for him again. Oh, good play. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go, Eric Berry. Eric Berry, bro. So good. Ah, Eric Berry, I love you. That's sort of a second quarter to forget for him. Now two picks in this frame. Almost as if the first one that he threw, he couldn't shake, couldn't get it Ooh, out of his head. On this he ends up doing the second one as a result. Compounds the mistake a little bit. Yeah, you got to be able to forget, compartmentalize, okay. whatever you want to call it. Nine yards there, and nine yards. That gives, gets, gets, gets Hill's stats up a bit. Second. Gets him a little XP. That's what, that's what I want. If I can get a field goal here, that'd be great. Hill's going to be open. Height, weight, speed, all of that. Hill, why'd you stop? Okay. Hill, I don't know why he stopped his route. That route was money. Because Hill would have burned him. Because I, I think that was a linebacker. I'm not sure exactly, but Hill would have burned him. Uh, why is this player froze right there? Uh, I saw that. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Fix your game. 
I'm trying to get him in here. On second down, here's Taylor. It's not there. Don't force it. Just take the dump down. Take the take down. down. It looks like right at the forty. Right. Uh, Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. What I could have done is I could have played. I know most of the time uh, when the ball's in the air, you're screen, picking you know, wide, wide receiver, open. tight end, but running backs they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Ooh, that was risky. Ooh, DJ Ward on Kelsey, wow. the intended receiver, and it's second down. I wouldn't be shocked at all right now because a look of surprise on the big fella's face because he had the route that he wanted running the corner and usually he's able to use his body and catch the football but a really nice play by the defenders able to knock it away escaping the pressure right and he'll get it down on the play to the 37 call it a gain of three and that's going to bring up a third down and they're going right, to I just want a few more up. yards on third down Taylor and he's got his man okay. Hilton I'll just it I'll take this deal. Of nine and it moves the that was a risky pass too. That could have been easy. Now whistles come right. in. We're gonna get a time We'll kick this field goal here. And now the Broncos will oh, trying to ice me? Can you ice the here. kicker before half? So as they take it over, we step aside. I'm not confident on this kick. The wind is crazy. We got it. Let's go. We're up 17 0 at half. That's big. So we reach halftime. Now, I'm not going to clock or anything, but I'm definitely going to ground and pound. I'm not going to turn the ball over. You know, so I'm going to be smart with the ball and just try and run it. Not clocking. I don't like the clock, but I just don't want to turn the ball over and then leave him with, you know, turn the ball over right here on the first play. Boom, he's right back in. I got to be smart clock management here. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff... There's them all 10 yards. Nice, nice. Eight yards. Or eight rushes for 40 yards. That's not bad. You know, my focus really is on the run game. I have four running backs I cycle through that I really like. Um, especially, I'm really high on the Anthony Thomas. I just need to get his carrying up, and I think he could be really, really good. I'm really high on him. He'll take this up to about the 37. Just a yard on the pickup yeah. there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire the game. Middle. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Oh, let's go, Jamal. Let's go, Jamal. Let's go. There we go, baby. I don't know why Jamal Charles is a stiff arm, but let's go. Jamal Charles. With his 13th touchdown of the year and second of the game. And the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. And they're able to up the lead by one more. How does the kickoff uh, unit? Do you want to get a shutout here? I think that would be very huge. That uh, put the league on notice a bit. Um, and help out stat-wise, obviously. XP-wise. Now we take a glance at the offense. I think it messes the psyche a little bit. Of my their first Not just the Broncos, but just in general. They're down in this game, a chance if for anyone the even looks at that. I mean, I look at all stats, you know. Like, I like, at the end of this game, right before we started the game, I look to see what my opponent does, how he plays, you know. Does he turn the ball over a lot? Does he run the ball a lot? Who's his quarterback, you know? Because A.J. McCarron's is starting quarterback right now. You know, but who's his quarterback? Who's, you know, how does he score? You know, I look at all that. Good play. Or whatever they, whatever they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. You know, like, I'm, this league is for fun, obviously, and there wasn't a buy-in or anything, but there is a prize at the end, you know, and I want to go as far as I can go, especially because I don't have a first-round pick, so it's kind of like I'm not helping out the Bills, you know, and it's nice. You know, because if I, if I went 0-16 and got the first pick and traded it away, I'd look like a clown. He throws and he Ooh, good but if I had the first pick, traded that away though for Tyrod Taylor, I'd look like a clown. But if I have the 32nd pick, the 31st pick, the 30th pick, you know, late 20s into the 30s, then I I say that's a successful trade because Tyrod can be my quarterback for the future. You know, I really think Tyrod's going to be my quarterback for at least three, four, five years. You know, he is, I think, I'm not sure how his contract works in Madden, because his con I don't think Madden has, uh, I don't think Madden has the, um, the, what's it called, the options, like the team options in the game. 
and the way Buffalo's contract is, they re sign him for one year, and then there's a two year team option after that first year. Well, this is the first year, so after the season, technically, what I should have is a team option, and I don't think I have the team option. Let's go, Tambahali. No, I need to find a replacement for Tom Bahali. That's what I think I'm looking for the most in the draft. I'm looking for a right outside. Um, I'm looking for a right outside. I'm looking for a backup tight end. And I'm looking for a... Um... They'll come out in the pistol. That's caught at the one. I'm looking for a backup uh, running back. So... What I'm hoping is um, make people miss <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage. You see a play like that where it's caught and he's Decker's got Oh, I was gonna be there, but I should have put Wilson on the zone so it wouldn't drag me in first. It dragged me inside and then out. But um So I have a few positions I want to address, but for the most part I'm really, really liking the team. The defense is set for the main part. Let's go. Defense is set, man. You know, we have Eric Berry at free safety. We have Ron Parker at strong safety. We have Poe at the DT. We have Howard at the end. And then we have Jones at the end, who's a rookie. A really promising rookie. We have Marcus Peters, you know? Like, our we have two middle linebackers. We obviously have Justin Houston. So I need to find a replacement for Tom Mahali. I need to find maybe another cornerback. For right now, our second cornerback is Philip Gaines. I need to find maybe another cornerback. I think he's a 76, 77 overall right now because of the uh, boosts he's getting. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how Let's do we go. take that away from them? How do we get the advantage? He's back? not ru he's, he's rushing three. You have in this league you have to rush three. He's rushing three and then he has others in um spies. So I can't really run with Tyrod, but he's only rushing three. And oh wow! Whoa! Wow! That's crazy. But uh, he's only rushing three usually, so it's like okay, I have time in the pocket. You know? Someone's gonna get open. Just have to remember not to force and not be dumb. Play my game. I don't want to go this drive scoreless, but I don't want to turn the ball over. So if routes aren't there, I'll either dump it down to the flat, dump it down to my running back. Do that, T. Why? Hollywood, as Wiser now would say. Hollywood. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. That's why I traded for him, baby. And you know what I've I might change his number. 83 is ugly. Man. The better a route runner you Ooh, are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you. Yeah, okay. Bad time to choose that part. Because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Alright, so that's going to be the end of the third quarter here. We're coming into the fourth quarter with a 24-6 lead. I'm liking it right now. I'm liking it. You know, we're playing well. We have two sloppy turnovers, really. One that was just a tip, and then the other. What was the other? Oh, I just threw it up. So both are kind of just like not really my fault. I'm just throwing it up. I'm being dumb. You know, I shouldn't be throwing it up, but it hasn't come back to haunt us yet, at least, you know, we're playing eight-minute quarters. These quarters are long, so you never know. Let's go. Hill. He's played a great game. It continues right there, even with this lead. Confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? Face man. No doubt who they want to ride all the way to the finish. Because strategy would tell you run the football, run the clock okay. down. Instead, uh -huh. they're letting him throw it because they feel. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. This will work as long as he's not playing the game. Now Taylor. That is caught at the seven-yard ah. line. No gain there on the completion. It'll be second down. 
And that's when it's fun to play defense. When you're able to diagnose a play right from the beginning, get all your guys to the football and spill the play, that's when you have a lot of fun yeah, playing on that yeah, side of the ball. Ball spotted at the four. It's second and goal. They go back to the ground now. Yeah, the outside, and They'll wind terrible. up losing oh, three. And now it's third oh, down. Oh, well, Brandon, he's had a great day, and sometimes that just happens. It is the NFL. They will make some plays against you. And back at the eight now. Trying to cover Owens on this. Maybe even in the corner here with T.Y. Here's Taylor. Being chased out left. And this is going to be incomplete. T.Y. Hilton, the intended receiver. So dumb to throw that across my body in traffic. I'm lucky that wasn't big. I'll take a field goal. We'll go up, uh, what is that, three TDs? And then we'll stretch the lead up to three touchdowns now. It's a 21-point game. So it's so 5.59 left. We got six minutes left in the game here in the divisional game. Hey, in this league, you know, you we're trying to get the 10 and 1. 10 and 1. That's huge, man. That's tied for the best. No one's undefeated anymore. So it's pretty good. I'm kind of regretting, regretting uh, not trading Don Terry Plan. Just because I feel like it is a waste. User. Let's go, baby. He kept doing those quick slants. I was going to catch on eventually. But um, I kind of regret not trading him just because my DT isn't on the field. Like, that's the issue. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three points. There we go. Thank you, Tyreek Hill. We're not going to score anymore here. I don't want to run up the score. You're not supposed to run up the score in the league anyways. And I kind of just did right there, but that was kind of the nail in the coffin, I think. I don't think I was running up. That was just the nail in the coffin. Now I'm just going to run the ball here. So if everything stays hold like this, you know, I've seen some crazy things in Madden where, you know, like I fumbled the ball. He returns it for a TD. Here's the Chiefs kickoff unit now as they'll send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. And Denver getting set to take the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting um, it. And I can't wait to see when they decide we'll to do a play call. We'll just run through four and try and get Poe. I don't think he's going to get much XP, but I think if he's on the field and we get a team goal. I don't know if team goals apply to everyone, even if they're not on the field or not. But I'd rather have Poe and Justin Fields. But they do want to develop it. You know, I, I signed him too. Like, I could trade him next season. Because obviously we're past the trade deadline. Like, I could trade him next season. But I just re-signed him. And because I re-signed him. Again, we'll see the pistol here. They run it again with Anderson. Takes it to but, the 26, um, just a one I just resigned Poe. So if I try and trade him away, then I'll take a pretty big uh, cap hit. Uh, Poe is in on 4-4, so that's good to me. They're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they're able to just roam and hit. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard We're just going to run man, sticks. and then if he, if he wants, he can burn me deep. Ah, uh, good play. I came down too, I came too far down, and then by that time, the foot slant was wide open. Fourth down, they're able to convert and move the sticks. Not only is a slant route really difficult to cover, it's a real staple play for an offense on a fourth down because it's a quick hitting play. Get the ball in the hands of the quarterback right to the receiver. And the receiver has to be ready because that thing's coming on a rope. That was a really nice play. Be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to he's got to tell his guys up front. Great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free. Thirty-four minute video so far, not bad. Like I said, I don't want to edit any of these videos. I just think these videos are better just drawn up and raw like this. 
losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. I think he turned too far. He just wants to get that game over with me. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. Anderson. And nothing doing. He's immediately taking He's not really doing anything in the run game, which is pretty big for me. He had that one drive where he scored. A one drive nice really uh, he was getting the run game going, really but other than that, he hasn't really gotten it. Agreed, and they really needed that so, one. That's good. Just for me, to feel I, I struggle with the run game. I'll be the first to admit. Toker had like 200 yards on me well, with uh, his run back. So. It's a safety run, Parker there to make the tackle. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short yeah, runs, he is cheap they still pay dividends score because anything. they can take their toll on he a might defense. And score and they can add up play. as the game goes along. They control the clock. Oh, control no, he's the just running it out. And that way, you often control the game. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll bring up a fourth down. And there's a run to be happy with. All right, and it looks like here we're gonna walk in here with a W. We're gonna move to ten and one. Now that has to put us pretty score. high in the now rankings. Come on, pick that. You know that probably. I think we're high for first in the league now. The like we were before, but I don't think there's anyone that's the winless any, or that's uh, undefeated anymore. Should say. It's Cookie Boy there. You can see in the bottom. He's nine and one now. He just lost last week. So, but that's gonna be it for me here. I'm gonna let go ahead and let the highlights play, let the commentators talk, and I'll be back in two or three days with another video. Peace. Well, Charles, stepping back from this one a moment, no matter who's on the field, it's always tough to come in here and beat a team that's the defending champs, but they were able to get it done. Weren't they 10-0 overall in this yeah, stadium? Yeah, you include the playoffs, 8-0 regular season. Yeah, I mean, that's really fantastic. And you're not just beating them. You're beating a crowd that's always behind their team, and you're beating altitude as well. That's a big victory. So for the Chiefs, they get win number 10 on the year as they move to 10 and 1. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Atlanta to take on the Falcons. Meanwhile, for the Broncos, their luck may have run out as they fall to 4 and 7 now on the year. And they'll be on the road next week as they get a date with the Jaguars in Jacksonville. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon, everyone, as we say so long.